One of the first things that Coach Fab told us back in the spring when he said that he was bringing in Gresh is he called you on the phone and he talked to you about it and you said, I know that that guy's going to make me better. Do you feel like throughout fall camp he has made you better? Absolutely, yeah. He's a great player. Throws the ball well, really well. And he's a good leader. He understands the game. So it's been really fun to pick at him and play with him and really have a guy next to you that understands the game just as well as you do. So it's been fun and made me a lot better. Mason Hayes called you a gamer. You want to comment on what that means to be called a gamer? A gamer? Uh, I don't know exactly what he meant by that. I mean, I, I can take a guess and just say, like, I love to get out there and play. I'm a, com I'm a competitor, and I, I'll do everything it takes to win. I guess that's what he meant. Coach Stitt was talking about how well, – the differences between you and Gresh, and also Gresh mentioned about the difference between you. Can you talk about some of the differences you have between Gresh and some things you have? Uh, some differences that we have, I uh, definitely say that but running the ball a little bit, moving around the pocket, definitely. He has really good pocket presence and stuff like that. Um, he understands the game really well, and he understands the offense really well, coming from Montana and having sit and similarly there. But uh, that'd be a difference, just really him having more experience in this offense right now. and him having a just really understanding of the game and the offense and then differences would be like my leadership. I really feel like I have the team on my back and stuff like that. And then uh, just moving, moving the ball and making plays outside the pocket would be a difference. You, know, you mentioned that leadership quality and that's something that Spavadol has pointed out about you before is he said you galvanized the locker room. When you hear that kind of praise from your head coach, how does how's that make you feel? It's awesome. I mean, I really love that stuff. Um, I really think, I think that the heart and uh I really think I have the team on my back, and it really makes me excited to be the guy that I can lead them. I just really feel like I, I feel a lot more comfortable in there. I feel like I have more experience just just sitting in the pocket and stuff like that, and feeling more comfortable on the field. That's the biggest thing. What, are, what have been some of the major changes in this offense compared to last year to this year? You know, like some some dramatic changes that you've noticed or is it kind of not not that different uh, I'd say like the play sequence and the play calling would be the biggest thing just the way he's calling the game that kind of stuff but at the end of the day football's football I mean we're doing a lot more checks at the line stuff like that more freedom with the quarterback that'd be the biggest thing but that's a difference from last year but like I said at the end of the day it's football So you're saying you had like a lack of freedom last year um, with the offense and, and changing stuff at the line. Um, can you kind of like elaborate on that? I wouldn't say lack of freedom. I just like feel like we have more more freedom as a quarterback now in this offense and more uh, different things that we can do with the receivers and that kind of stuff like at the line rather than just running a play that the coaches is calling. And also like the, the play sequence, we're able to do different things and change different plays and stuff like that to answer your question. Now the offensive line, you, you saw this offensive line last year. You played behind them uh, quite a bit. Uh, it seems like they've been solidified, that first unit. I've, I've noticed improvement, but wh what do I know? Tell me, tell me, what have you seen? Definitely, yeah, it's been, it's been awesome. Playing with them last year and playing with them again this year has been a lot more camaraderie with the, that group, and they're get really coming together, meshing together. Uh, Coach McGuire has done really, well, really well getting them going and really getting more physical, I think, up front, that biggest thing. So from spring to fall, we've made a lot of improvement up front. So you've been blessed to work with some cra pretty crazy QB gurus and Coach Spav and Coach Stitt. Could you just talk about what it's been like to pick their brains throughout fall camp? It's been awesome, yeah. Like you said, they're, they're both really really knowledgeable in the quarterback position, so it's been fun to just kind of touch on them, ask on them, get tips from them and that kind of stuff. So I really, I've really grown a lot having them around. How much of what you're trying to progress with your own personal game is ruined or skewed by these really good defensive looks? This defensive group has been a, a cohesive unit these last couple of years, and it looks like it's becoming a strength of the Bobcats. Well, how much of that it, like is affecting your style of play in, scrim in these scrimmages? I wouldn't say it's affected my style of play. I mean, it definitely makes me a lot better competing with them every every day, practice and scrimmages, like you said. So I wouldn't say it, it limits me. It, it's really making me a lot better. And, really in heightening my play. In your opinion, what do you think it's going to take to be able to separate yourself from Gresh and become starter of this team? I'll just say just keep leading, just keep going out there every day, uh, just keep chipping away and stuff like that, just tr trying to do everything I can, and make the team better overall at my position. What's the biggest part of your game that you've been working on during this camp? 
I'll just be more comfortable in the pocket, pocket presence and stuff like that. Just sitting in there making throws and stuff like that.